Hi, I'm Kevin Sharp from Prompt Parts. Prompt Parts has um, just become an authorised dealer for Marta uh, Marine Anodes and uh, today we're at Pine Harbour to um, sh go through the process of uh, replacing the anodes on this Azimut 42. Before we do the install, let's talk about why it's so important to have functioning anodes on your boat. Anodes are sacrificial metals like zinc, magnesium and aluminium designed to degrade to protect the precious components of your boat. In other words, they sacrifice themselves instead of the expensive components on your boat like rudders and prop shafts and propellers. So let's go ahead and install some anodes and check out what anodes look like before and after. Anodes are very simple to replace providing you've got some basic tools or the correct tools to install them and remove them. Simply removing the, the old anode, this one's coming off quite easily. Have a good look at the basic surface under there so we've got something uh, flat for the, the replacement anode to, um, to go to. You can clearly see how the anode's been working on this boat and it's been doing a great job. So there's the old anode and, and there's the new one, ready, ready to go out and spend a year or so under the water. So before we install the, the replacement anode, let's make sure that there's nothing there that's going to stop this anode from fitting correctly on the bottom of the boat. Martyr anodes are manufactured using a pressure die cast process. They come with a, a ISO 9001 accreditation to really protect your um, investment. Tighten it securely so it's not going to vibrate off and um, not to damage the surface. So we're at the prop shaft end and we've got a shaft anode. You can see it's, it's designed to um, clamp around the prop shaft and uh, close to the strut as possible. And we've already cleaned up the prop shaft ready for it to be installed. So we've got a nice clean surface so it bonds very well with the prop shaft. So we've got the, um, the shaft anode separated, ready to install around the prop shaft. A handy little feature here is, in case you're installing the, the um, shaft anode close to the water, you've, you've got limited space so we don't drop some of the fasteners. You'll notice that the anode's got a retainer on it so it doesn't get lost. So let's go ahead and install the anode on the prep surface. So let's move on to the trim tabs. So have a look at the anode on the trim tab. See how corroded that is. So there's an anode at the top and the bottom. And um, you can see the, the corrosion that's built up around from the, from the anode previously fitted there. So we need to clean that up before we install the new ones. <laughs> So you can see here we've we've cleaned the surface. It's really important that the anode's going to get a good bond to the uh, trim tab, so they get a good transfer of the electrons from the anode to the cathode. So now that we've cleaned the surfaces, it's a straightforward process of installing the new anodes. This will give added protection to uh, the underwater components of your boat. Simple as that. So, so as you can see, changing the anodes is a quick, simple process with minimal tools. Um, we're going to now launch this boat and um, go and do some galvanic testing uh, while it's on the water. 